there is this like deep meditative gratefulness and I only feel this feeling when I am exploring somewhere so and it just feels like I'm alive <laughs> Hi friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel. I have never been more excited for a travel vlog than I am for this one because we are going to Cape Cod solo. Oh, I've wanted to go to Cape Cod so bad. I went to New England for the first time in my life last year and the Northeast has just absolutely stole my heart. The seafood, the sailboats, the lighthouses, the antiques, the, the coastal grandma vibes. It is everything I want to be except for cold. So I'll just have to continue to visit. <laughs> I spent yesterday researching and I have found gluten-free lobster rolls. I found gluten-free clam chowder, gluten-free fried oysters, gluten-free fried fish platters. Like I have found so many gluten-free foods. It's gonna be a very foodie vlog. I hope you're ready. And I'm saying hello the day before because I literally leave at 5 a.m. tomorrow. So I'm kind of getting packed, getting ready, and just getting prepped for a very early morning and a very fun trip. And I cannot wait. Thank you for being here. Ah, haha. <laughs> One of the things that I've started to pack in my suitcase when I go on trips is a little like, I call this my wellness bag, and I keep a lot of different little things in it. Um, including my little travel AG1s, and I am getting to work with AG1 on today's video. I'm a foodie girl, but I am also a girly that needs to stay healthy for a lot of different reasons. I travel a lot, I have a compromised immune system. I just, I just wanna stay as healthy as possible. I love taking my AG1 at home, and I love bringing it on the road for a few different reasons, but it's actually so much more than just a greens powder. There's 75 different whole foods sourced ingredients inside of this, there's vitamins, minerals, superfoods, adaptogens, all sorts of things to help nourish the body holistically. So it's actually like a full nutritional drink. These make it so easy to travel with this and not skip it and make it just so incredibly convenient. Another thing is when I'm traveling, I wanna maximize every single day. I don't wanna crash and this helps to sustain energy as well. And I do have a link for y'all if you haven't tried it before. If you sign up with my link, it's athleticgreens.com slash Jancy, you will get five I love these little travel guys, but also something else that I keep in my pack is this. This is something that my doctor is like, thank goodness you're taking that every day. This is a D3, K2 little dropper. Vitamin D3 is so important and it's best when paired with K2. And this is a year supply of that. So this will last you a whole year and you'll get those things for free with my link if you sign up. So thank you to AG1 for partnering with me on this video and for making travel significantly healthier for me and easier, hallelujah. made it to the Boston airport and you know what I'm realizing? My favorite gluten-free donuts in the world is in Boston. I think I'm gonna cry. And driving to downtown when I don't have to is ridiculous and they close in 40 minutes. I'm waiting for the shuttle to get a rental car, but I can't not try. I can't not try. I've looked into shipping these. They cost $100 to ship, so I've never actually done it. So while I'm here, I think I just gotta go see if I can luck out and get there and find parking downtown in 40 minutes. You know what? I just got in my rental car, and if I go straight there, even without parking, I'll get there four minutes before closing, and there's this long line to check out of the garage. So I think what I'm gonna do is I found another Cane's technically 40 minutes off my route. I'm gonna have two nights in Provincetown. 
So I might as well just like enjoy the drive, go a little bit out of the way, get canes. And then I found another restaurant in, oh, I'll have to tell you when we're there, but basically halfway up the Cape, I'm staying at the very, very tip that does like gluten-free lobster rolls and stuff. I found three places that do gluten-free lobster rolls and I'm probably gonna eat three lobster rolls in the next three days. Just buckle up, maybe some clam chowder. I'm just gonna go ham. I'm gonna go lobster. So I'm gonna just go ahead and reroute right now to the canes that is off the beaten path. I should also call them and make sure that they do for sure still have gluten-free in stock. We are gonna do it. Look at this. Can you see them? I gotta, I don't want them to fall. Look at these. Sadly, they didn't have glazed, which is my favorite. I'm just a plain glazed girl, but I got one for each day I'm here. A blueberry, maple bacon, lemon, which I'm really excited about. And then there's special, a vanilla cookie, which I think is actually probably on a glazed. <gasps> I told the employee, I live in Texas and these are my favorite donuts and I almost paid $100 to get these shipped to Texas for my birthday. He was like, wow. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Cry. I can't tell you, donuts are my second favorite food right after sushi. And to find one that tastes real as a celiac person, it's impossible. It has the good glaze, the type that gets hard and it's fried in its own fryer. Oh my God. <laughs> when a donut makes you emotional. I was texting Jordy and I said, okay, I'm gonna have like a two hour commute between donuts and lobster rolls. And then I said, I love my itinerary. <laughs> okay, our next stop is Harwich Port is the town. This restaurant is called Brax Landing. They're a seafood restaurant. Apparently they're on the water with a view. What's today? Today's Monday. I should just be able to walk in, hopefully. That's about halfway up the Cape and you see where the Cape ends? That's where we're going. That's where we're staying. So that's about a two hour drive and then there should be another hour drive up the Cape after we eat. So that's a good, nice little way to break it up. I should be getting there a little after five, early dinner, and then make our way and hopefully get to the hotel before sunset so that we can see and do a proper room tour. <music> Okay, I walked into the restaurant to place my order and I looked through the windows and I saw a bench down there and I thought, you know what? I would like to eat on that bench. So I placed to go and they informed me that the fries are in a dedicated fryer, fully gluten-free. So we got a lobster roll and fries, although here they only come cold. The other spots I wanna go to, you can also get them hot with brown butter, which is like the best way. So a cold lobster roll today, actually courtesy of Jordy. Jordy Venmoed me for this one, which is so sweet. Sorry it's a little windy out here, but look at how much lobster, ooh, is in that lobster roll. Oh my gosh. Bite test, staring directly into the sun. I bet lobster roll one of three for this for this trip. Oh my gosh, it's so thick. I need two hands for this. <laughs> I can't do it. Oh, oh my god. Look at the view. I'm really happy. It's a beautiful day to be alive. Guys, before it's gone, I just pulled up to the spot I'm staying, but look at the view and look at the, the sky right now. Oh, it's With your hand I'd seen the photo, so I knew it was gonna be beautiful, but this is like, <sighs> so serene. <laughs> I wanted to run in here before the sun was gone. I don't even have my suitcase yet to show you the room and the view from the room. Okay, sunset, let's focus, let's focus sunset. Oh, it's so much more vibrant in person, I wish you could see. But we have this little seating area that looks straight out onto this view. Gorgeous bed, a private little bed on the patio out here, almost like a lounge situation. And then this kind of cool faux wood wall. I haven't looked at the bathroom yet. Let's look together. Oh, wow. I love me a nice bathroom. Look at how freaking cool. There's a porthole. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm not gonna toot my own horn, but if there's one thing I am good at, it is finding a cool boutique hotel. This is apparently the first night of the year that they have reopened for like off season versus season. And this was, I think, $2.39 a night. I'm sure it's way more expensive in the summer, but that's why I jumped on this trip. I was like, this is $2.39 a night? I've paid that much for La Quintas, are you kidding? 
I'm really so excited to explore the town tomorrow. I think it's going to be a little like windy and cold tomorrow. So maybe more indoor things. And then the next day we might be able to do some outdoor things. But let's just check this out. You know, I was a little bummed that I had uh, computer work I had to do tonight. But with this as my work setup and this as my view, I am so happy to be doing computer work all night right here. I'm gonna hop into work and tomorrow we are gonna hop on adventure and I absolutely cannot wait. Also, I wanna say before, before the sun is completely gone that there is this like deep meditative gratefulness, like this like that tingles through my body that I, ch it's a feeling I chase. It's a feeling of like deep joy, just like so free, so absolutely free. And I only feel this feeling when I am exploring somewhere solo. And it just feels like I'm alive. <laughs> and I only feel it on these trips and I feel it right now. And it is just such a good feeling. It feels so great to just do something by yourself, for yourself, for no reason other than because you want to. I'm happy. It's actually sunny. I hope it stays so we can do outdoor things um, because I've learned that Tuesday is the day most things are closed over here. Tuesday, Wednesday, and sometimes Thursday, but almost everything's closed Tuesday. So today's gonna be an outdoorsy type day, but I posted this TikTok last night because I tried to go to bed. I tried to turn off these lights and I looked forever and I could not find a switch anywhere. And I posted it to TikTok and I woke up and it has like almost 200,000 views of people being like, call the front desk. And I'm like, they were closed after eight. But um, I just went down there to get breakfast and coffee and ask them, do you see the switch anywhere here? Well, <laughs> it's hidden behind the actual lamp. I just unscrewed the bulbs to sleep. <laughs> But I went down and I have a huge, really nice breakfast buffet. I got this for protein, maybe to go with one of my donuts. And then they have coffee taps and they have a nitro hot coffee on tap, which I only ever seen nitro cold brew. So I thought it was gonna be cold. And I was like, do you have anything hot? And they were like, this one is. So that's breakfast. Okay, so I just checked the weather and apparently it is gonna start raining in a couple hours. So what I think our plan should be is go lighthouse hunting and in fact, I see one way out there. There's at least three, not that far. And do that while it's nice weather. And then maybe we could walk around town after that and find a coffee or something. Apparently a lot is closed on Tuesdays, so we'll see. But look, I'm gonna zoom you in. See that tiny blip in the distance? Let's go there first. First, I was trying to go to Race Point Lighthouse and I think it's a flop because you have to have off, uh, like on sand off-roading permits to drive the rest of the way. And that's even closed at this time of year. But here's the entrance to the beach. Race Point Beach was also on my list. I would not have worn my big black boots if I knew I was coming to the beach, but I'm excited to see what it looks like. And it's in this like beautiful, like sandy dune situation. I'm ditching my shoes here because it feels so nice to walk barefoot on the sand. <laughs> Big old heavy black combat boots is not the move for a beach and it's actually such pleasant temperatures. It's like maybe 60 degrees right now, but sunny. The sun feels good, let me tell you. like the closest I'm gonna get to a lighthouse is this. Can you even see it? I'll insert a little phone clip zoomed in. Um, apparently it's a, like an hour hike if I wanted to try to do that, but rain might be starting in an hour. So it'd be an hour there, hour back. But there's this like um, seawall that looks like it kind of just goes straight there, but that's probably about a mile. I see people down on it, which is interesting. You know what? 
almost everything's closed today. And I don't think the rain's coming for an hour, so I'm going to try to walk down that seawall at least a bit. And get a little bit closer to the lighthouse and see what we can see. There's another lighthouse we could drive to. It's about a 40 minute drive. Maybe today or tomorrow. I'm going to be wanting to find a coffee pretty soon. So let's go walk down that seawall and see what happens. See the seawall. can hear me but I think I made it to the halfway point because it dips right here and if the tide changes I won't be able to cross back so I'm gonna turn around but look at the lighthouse boop, 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 boop. made it back to the car right as it started raining haha -ha. we did it um, the coffee shop that we're gonna try is called Kohi k-o-h-i so we're gonna go here five minutes away and we're gonna see how the rain does and maybe if it's not too brutal we can walk into some shops i know one shop that is open today is the shell shop which of course we gotta go to the shell shop so parking is a little bit difficult to find i parked a bit away in a paid lot but this is the pilgrim monument apparently there's a museum that you can go and like see cool things but of course it's closed monday through thursday the days i'm here that's why the hotel's so cheap monday through thursday but get to see it from the outside and we have a nice little stroll it's i sat in the car till the rain died down and now i'm gonna sprint to the coffee shop but this town is so cute you were a thousand miles away dirty dishes in the sink hustling so we could stay yellow house down the street we got our coffee. It is delicious, but the spot is very small and doesn't really have um, a spot to sit. But I'm lucky that, oh my gosh, there's a Kiel store right there. I'm lucky that there's no rain so I can walk around right now. Um, and I'm walking to the Shell Shop, which is only 0.2 miles away. We'll see if we pass any antiques or whatever in route. Just kind of, just kind of just, you know, flying by the seat of my pants or whatever they say. Well, we've made it to Town Hall which I assume is probably in the center of town. There's some monuments and the shell shop is right there, but I passed a really cute little lunch spot that denotes gluten-free. And they have lobster rolls, which makes me think maybe they have gluten-free bread on hand. It's already 2 p.m. and I'm like, not yet hungry. I had all that yogurt and a donut, so, but maybe we'll do that. Shell shop first. shell if I'm here and this one is really speaking to me I think it's very cool and could be cool on like a bookshelf or something architectural $5.99 what a deal but I also really like these clam shells isn't that cool maybe I get both guys and it's attached to a candy store aren't they known for saltwater taffy here does that mean I should get some I just found this alley and wow there's like little baby heads <laughs> I'm intrigued and a little scared oh okay where is this leading me I probably shouldn't walk down an alley like this alone huh should I well I was just walking past this place which is a spot I had on uh, my list for dinner because it says it's open online but they're opening the day i leave that's the thing that i didn't realize about the cape is it's seasonal so i literally checked into the hotel the first day it's open of the year and a lot of things open may 1st or mid-may or even june and that also makes sense why everything was just more affordable um, so this isn't open, so I'm thinking maybe I eat while I can at the place that I passed if they can do gluten-free. Okay, unfortunately they could not do gluten-free bread, but he was like, we could put the warm lobster on lettuce. And I was like, is there anywhere else open? And he was like, not really. I said, I'm getting lobster one way or another. 
Lobster is so much better warm and with butter than cold. I don't know if anybody could disagree with that. Wow. I'm happy. Little haul. Here's the two shells I bought. Aren't they cute? I did get some taffy and it's funny because I first confirmed it was gluten free and then I went around and I picked out one of every single flavor I wanted to try. And I go to pay and they weigh it and she was like, that's 90 cents. We need at least $2 to put it on a card. So I went back and I got quite a few more. We should try one together. I think this one's salted caramel. That's really good. So I made a plan that might be ridiculous, <laughs> but everything is closed here today. And the restaurant that I really wanna to go to that does everything fried gluten-free, chowder, lobster rolls, everything. I made a reservation tomorrow cause they're open tomorrow here, but I just found there's another location of the same restaurant that's open today, about an hour away. I was already like, I don't know what I'm gonna choose to eat because there's so many things I wanna try. So I'm thinking, going home, doing some work, waiting for the rain to pass, and then making that drive, exploring a different area for a bit, and getting dinner there tonight, and then the other location tomorrow night. Ridiculous, maybe, but I think that that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna head back to the hotel and knock out a bit of work so that we could make that happen. All right, guys, work has been worked. This is the plan. So we're going to Chatham. Hope I'm saying that right. Apparently a lighthouse there. I'm gonna try again to see that lighthouse before dinner. And I've already planned what I'm ordering. I'm ordering some chowder and some crab cakes. Maybe more, but definitely those two things. Let's go. Ooh, it's windy. It's the type of wind where the like sand whips and hits your face. So I did not walk down the beach to get to the lighthouse. I just walked up on top of a hill to zoom in and see it from afar. Got a couple iPhone clips. Lighthouse hunting is, um, let's just say I'm seeing the fish, but I'm not hooking any of them. You know what I mean? I haven't reeled any of them in, but even to see from afar is great, but uh, fun to see. It was not that far off the path to dinner. Let's go to dinner. Every single fried thing here is gluten free, so I got fried oysters and fried onion rings. But to start, I got chowder. I've only had chowder once in my life. It was in Boston last year at like the food hall, food court. So let's see how this one compares. It's clam chowder. Are they all? I don't know. That is so good. That's healing. It's like, it's good for the soul. this is all gluten-free. I told the lady, I was like, this has zero color, and I'm so excited because my options always only are the colorful options. Okay, we're gonna try an oyster and tartar sauce with lemon. Why not? We're hot in an onion ring. I'm a happy girl. 10 out of 10, would recommend. And I'm glad that tomorrow I have a reservation at their other location, which makes me think maybe it's a little more formal, but this was so casual, it was perfect to just like, come on a whim by yourself, you know what I mean? I am in for the night, gonna get some work done and chill and enjoy that view and make a solid plan for us for tomorrow, our last full day here. I'm gonna find some stuff to do that, that that's open. That's the hard part, but I will find it. Good morning. It's the last full day here. Sad. My main goals for today are find a piece of art for my gallery wall. I try to find like an antique or a thrift or whatever anytime I take a solo chip and add it to my gallery wall. But it's so hard to find spots that are open. But I got a good tip from the guy at the front desk. He said the Methodist Church has a thrift shop. They're only open between 10 and 2 but he said that they're currently moving buildings, so a lot of the stuff might be packed up, but we're gonna go try that first. And then he said, <laughs> most of the shop owners just open when they feel like it, so you can't actually know if they're open or closed. They just, ah, Tuesday, I'll go in at three. 
type of situation, which is very European and very cool that like work is not life like it is the rest of America, but makes it hard to make a plan. So plan B is walk around town. Um, I have a couple ideas, but that is goal A. I have a meeting at noon and then goal B is just to go see some scenery and get a gluten-free lobster roll tonight. Very hard day. Lot of success and I'm a little torn between these two. I have this cross, what do you call that? Where you like a cross stitch lighthouse for $8 or an actual signed photograph of one of the lighthouses I tried to go see here. It could be fun to mix in a real photograph to that wall. Um, that's $11 and it's cool that it's signed and that I've seen that one. So I'm kind of leaning towards the picture, but this is a beautiful thrift store. A lot of things here are a dollar, like this couch. Free. There's a lot of free things too, which is just so cool. Okay, I bought two because I found another one on the way out. So I bought the signed photograph and I figure if this is too much for my suitcase, I don't love this frame. So I could take it out of the frame and reframe it when I'm home to be able to transport it. But then I found this actual painting like someone actually painted this and it didn't have a sticker on it. So I asked him and he said, how about $4? And I couldn't say no to that. You know, I just couldn't say no. So my plan is probably take the photograph out of the frame, go home, reframe it and see which one looks best in the gallery wall. Maybe um, find a spot for both of them. I don't know, but I just couldn't pass up on a $4 hand painting, you know? You know? Back at my favorite communal parking lot recognize it um it's a lot less windy today a lot easier to vlog outside it's wednesday i think more things are open so i'm just gonna walk around the parts of town that i haven't seen yet there's a little antique store called yesterday's treasures we'll see if it's open it might be might not be um but i'm glad it's a little lovely walking weather i don't even have a jacket on which is so nice and there's tulips blooming everywhere and i love to look literally i didn't even see these yet look so many everywhere aren't they beautiful they're open and there's so many pretty paintings i mean nothing beats thrift store prices but there's just really beautiful art here too also so many pretty like pottery and dinnerware i wish i could oh i love this boat sorry i'll show you um i wish i could fly home with it but it would not survive look at that boat that really speaks to me i really love that so much <gasps> I love the colors, how they're muted. What does the price say? $29.99? <gasps> I don't have room. Tell me I don't have room. I don't have room. Something about me is I'll always want old postcards, especially when they're a dollar. Okay, I just found this little shop called, oh, a boat's, boat's coming in. <laughs> called Luxuries, spelled like that. And they have different luxuries from around the world. And I found these napkins. Here, I'm gonna put you down. I found these napkins that are hand like block printed. And I got four different patterns because I mentioned in a vlog recently, I like to wrap bouquets in like really pretty paper or recently I did a bandana and it was really pretty. So whenever I give flowers to friends because they were only $5 a piece. And that's so easy to throw in my suitcase and travel home and will elevate future gifts for friends. I think I've pretty much made it to the other end of town where all the shops kind of end and gone into everything that is open today. I'm proud for accomplishing that goal, so I'm gonna walk back this way to my car. <laughs> I went home and rested a bit because autoimmune girl is trying to learn how to do that better, but I have a little bit of time before dinner and I saw all these trails through the dunes. And so I kind of just wanted to just walk a little bit. I think this one goes to the beach. I think that one is a bike trail. But I'm gonna try the sandy one towards the beach first and just see where it takes us. Ooh, the piping plover. I don't know, is that a bird? It's uh, can you see what this on? Here we go. The piping plover. It's all about a shore bird. Oh my gosh, they have eggs. Okay, I'll be careful not to stop or step on any of their eggs. I'll watch the path as I go. Oh, but look at it. The 
East Coast is so freaking magical. <sighs> Look, someone left all these shells. What a good little hiding spot. Those are so cute. Good job. I'm gonna leave them here in case they're coming back, but those are very beautiful. Well, that was quite lovely. I just sat and absolutely zoned out and didn't realize I didn't have phone reception until my alarm just went off. And I have to check into my flight home in five minutes. So gonna go back to reception and then actually it's only 20 minutes till dinner. So um, let's go get the hot gluten-free uh, lobster roll that I've been waiting for this whole trip. I've had a cold one. I've had one without the bread. We're gonna have a hot gluten-free one with the bread tonight. Maybe also a crab cake. Who knows? This is our one really proper meal out, so I'm going all out. I got like a lemon ginger water, and I'm starting with oysters, but literally, look at this in relation to my hand. Look at how large that is. Do you think I can eat this sitting alone without making a scene? Try it. One. And the pond has been really good. And then they didn't have crab cakes, but they did have a gluten-free lobster bisque, and I've never had lobster bisque before in my life. It smells delicious. That's so good. Day three of being here, but we finally did it. A gluten-free hot lobster roll. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh my gosh, that was the best meal I've had here. If I lived here, I would come here three times a week. They also have sushi, which was so tempting because they label gluten-free. But since I can get sushi back at home, I, I got everything else instead. But lobster bisque is so good. I'm gonna have to find a spot that does that gluten-free in Austin. Also, I felt just so incredibly safe this trip and everybody that lives here is so kind. And I just learned that according to a census, this is the highest LGBTQ community per capita of anywhere in the whole United States, which makes so much sense because when you're a solo female traveler, the fewer straight men, the safer you feel. No offense to straight men out there, but a little offense to the creepy ones. So if you're looking for a place to travel solo, that's a, that's a, it's a real thing. It feels, feels very safe here. I just got back to the most magical time of night. You could see it in the reflection, but I'll flip you around and show you, but, oh. The camera just never quite does it justice. I might even go down here and make some s'mores because they offer that as a thing. And I'm gonna actually end the vlog and jump on computer work for the night because tomorrow is a full travel day all the way back to Boston and then six hours of flights and that whole thing. So I wanted to say thanks again to AG1 for partnering with me on today's video. I'm gonna have the link down in the description, athleticgreens.com slash Jancy to get the travel packs, five of those for free. And then the year supply of the vitamin D drops, very, very worth it. And thank you to them for also supplying me with my nutrients so I can do things like eat s'mores out here. Just a uh, chef's kiss. Cape Cod, you're beautiful. Thank you for this solo adventure. Absolute magic. I love y'all so much. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in a video very soon. Bye. If we're looking for each other, then it might just take some